Subscribe to join the Raiders Report fam for more free Raiders analysis like you're going to see coming up here today around Josh Jacobs. And we always cover the latest news. Rumors go live all the time. So seriously, take a second, hit that subscribe button right now. Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report, and today's show is sponsored by RexMD. Head on over to RexMD.com slash chat, the number one leader in men's telehealth out there. To just be plain and simple, if you got a hard time getting hard, go down in the comments, go down in the description, and let RexMD make life a little bit simpler. Coming up here today on the Raiders Report, Josh Jacobs clearly has doubts about this Raiders team that Josh McDaniels and Dave Ziegler have constructed. And for some of y'all, you're like, wait a minute, why do you say that? I can promise you this. After you watch today's show, you're going to be like, oh shit, dude made some good points. So who else remembers this? You go all the way back to February 9th, 2023, Josh Jacobs sat down with PFT and the crew and talked about, you know, being placed on that franchise tag. And this is what Crim Sims had to say. Raiders running back Josh Jacobs told us he'd be okay to play on the franchise tag, but only if the team loaded up at other positions and added players around him. But, and this is what Jacob said, if you want me to come back as the hero, you better pay me like a hero. So now... Where the Raiders are currently sitting, they placed the franchise tag on number eight. Their star running back after a career year, we had over 2,000 yards. And what is Jacobs thinking? He's probably sitting there like, okay, well, you guys want me to play on this franchise tag. You didn't quite load up on a lot of talent around me. So now you better go out and pay me. Jacobs, to me, clearly feels like he has to be the hero on his team. Which, honestly, I don't necessarily blame him. That's going to be one of the things that happens when you bring in a mediocre quarterback in Jimmy Garoppolo. Sure, he might be able to execute this McDaniels plan a little bit better. On top of that, though, for what the Raiders had, they had a lot of money in salary cap and free agency, decided not to spend a lot of money. Then you look at the draft. They also decided that they are going to try to build with some of the young talent. If the young talent can't turn into be solid players, this Raiders team is going to struggle. And over the past four seasons, Josh has been a workhorse. Has he dealt with injuries? Yes. But considering the fact that you drafted him in round one, considering the fact that a lot of running backs get banged up here or there. But you know what? Not many backs have over 200 carries their first four years. Not many running backs have a combined 40 rushing touchdowns their first four years. And not many running backs had over 1,600 yards and 340 carries and was a true bell cow back. This is my take, though, and this is going to be a little bit hot taking. and this is going to be spicy, but I am simply going off of what Josh Jacobs told us told the media, told everybody amongst Raider Nation. If Josh Jacobs believes in the Raiders team, then he would be willing to play on the franchise tag. If he demands a contract extension from Las Vegas, then he doesn't believe in the team Josh McDaniels and Dave Ziegler have built this upcoming season. And some of you are probably like, well, that's a harsh statement because Josh hasn't said anything like that. You're not necessarily wrong, but we got to read between the lines here. It's either... Josh did not mean what he said back on February 9th and that he is okay playing on the franchise tag if you build the team around him. Or he has doubts about what Josh McDaniels and Dave Ziegler have constructed for this Las Vegas Raiders team through the draft and free agency. It can only be one or the other. That's as simple as that. It's either Josh didn't tell the truth in February or he is not confident about the team now. It's got to be one of the two options. So coming up here on today's show, we got more on Josh Jacobs doubting McDaniels and Ziegler. I'm not making this video to put out stuff left and right, you know, a lot of smoke, but there has been a lot of smoke around Josh Jacobs, and I do got to clarify a few things around the Raiders' star running back. Also, one thing I got to clarify, Rex MD, man, it is here to put your stick shift and drive 90% off, only pay $2 per dose. It's where? At RexMD.com slash chat. Now, some of y'all are like, all right, Mitch, talk to me here a little bit. I had a, maybe a little lackluster Father's Day, or hey, maybe you're trying to have a great Father's Day. I don't know what it is. But, fellas, 
Do you sometimes lack confidence in the bedroom? Do you wish you could have a more fulfilling sex life? Well, you're not alone. That's why we're excited to tell you about RexMD, the online source for men's wellness. RexMD offers an easy and discreet way to get the medication you need for ED without having to visit a doctor's office. With just a few clicks, you can have your medication delivered straight to your door and at a fraction of the cost of traditional pharmacies. RexMD's teams of licensed physicians will work with you to find the right treatment plan, and their medication is made in the USA, so you can trust its quality. Plus, their customer support team is available 24-7 to answer any questions or concerns you may have. So if you're ready to take control of your sex life and say goodbye to ED, head on over to rexmd.com slash chat and start your consultation today. Take advantage of their best deal they have ever offered and save up to 90% off and only pay $2 per dosage with our exclusive link. Go to rexmd.com slash chat for this limited time deal. Starter packs of generic Viagra or Cialis are now available for our listeners to get started. That's rexmd.com slash chat for up to 90% off. I had to wear the Hellcat Q69 jersey as soon as I heard that RexMD was coming back. But seriously, y'all, there's nothing to be embarrassed about here. It happens to everyone. Get your testosterone back. RexMD is definitely going to help you do that. So let's continue to talk here about Josh Jacobs and some of his frustrations because he has not been afraid to vocalize his frustrations from this offseason. And we're even going to show you later on in the show that he was voicing them even last season. But this is the one that's really getting the pot stirred because it's the most recent. Jacobs, on June 20th yesterday, tweeted, Bad business. And there's definitely some people out there that were like, ah, you don't even know if he's talking about football. Well, guess what? Go on Instagram, and I'm about to post on Twitter once this video goes out. Some of the stuff that Josh literally said on IG. And he said that, yes, this was exactly about football and that fans don't exactly know everything that's going on behind closed doors. I'll admit, though, as a content creator, I like cryptic messages. Why? It makes it easier for me in the middle of June to talk about something. But from somebody who is a fan of this team, from somebody who wants the Raiders to win... I'm getting sick and tired of the cryptic messages, Josh. And you can say what you want. It's very high school to me. And that's just the plain and simple, the easiest way I can say it. If you're going to be cryptic, go ahead, do your thing. But then that also allows me, an adult, a grown man, to say that it's high school because that's simply what it is. However, though, with all that being said, the Raiders, they can't seem surprised that Jacobs isn't confident in them and slash that he wants a new deal. Like, Jacobs, if there is one thing, if this Raiders team paid attention, it's the Jacobs' displeasure, if you will, and the way that the Raiders have handled this entire offseason. So my question to you is this. Are you going to take the Josh Jacobs side, or are you going to take the side of the Raiders? And what do I mean by that? If you're taking the Josh Jacobs side, it means that you believe that he deserves a contract extension and that he deserves to be paid the money that he wants, type JJ. However, I have said this before. Does he deserve his money? Unquestionably, he's one of the best running backs in the league. But what's best for the Raiders is if he does play on that franchise tag this season at $10.1 million. That's better for the Raiders. So which side are you taking? Are you taking Josh's side or are you going to take the Raiders' side? Let me know down in the comments. Because when you continue to look at the tea leaves, and the biggest reason why I always tell people to subscribe to the Raiders Report, watch the show, especially in the offseason, is because... You can miss things, and I don't want you to miss anything. The NFL is 365, baby. Raiders content, 365. And since March 14th, I just want you to look at some of the things that Josh has tweeted that Josh has retweeted because the writing is on the wall what he wants. And this man wants a contract extension. Back on March 14th, he said, shit's sad for real. At least that's what I believe the FR is. At least that's what my kids are telling me, right? Kiddos. Um... This was right when Darren Waller was traded. So as soon as that happens, Josh is already expressing some of his frustrations with the way that this was handled this offseason. Same day, March 14th, the 33rd team on Twitter. Why can't Josh Jacobs get a deal? It just don't make sense. That's what CJ2K had to say. Jacobs ended up retweeting that. Then on June 10th, most recently, sometimes it's not about you. We got to do it for the ones after us. So, okay. You're going to do it for after you, which means that you're going to try to get a bigger deal than what Raiders or what running backs are typically getting, which I don't blame Josh. I want him to get his bag. 
he absolutely deserves it. But then I also can say that might not be the best situation for the Raiders considering the fact of they're a 6-11 and team and paying a lot uh, paying a running back a lot of money has literally proven in most recent history that it hasn't worked out in the NFL. This is also what Josh Jacobs retweeted recently. The NFL is the only major professional sports league where salaries are tied to position groups, which often means you will be underpaid despite overproducing, right? Josh Jacobs. So I get it. Josh feels underappreciated. Josh feels like he's underpaid. And when you look at the entire scope of the NFL and the fact that some of these third string wide receivers are making more money than Jacobs, I get the idea that he feels underpaid. He had over 2,000 yards. He should have been the offensive player of the year. He deserves more money. But the problem Josh needs us to realize is it's the NFL, and they're not going to go out there and pay a lot of running backs. Like, if Josh Jacobs right now wants to test the open market or he wants that big-time deal, I don't see many teams out there saying, all right, we're going to give you $14, $15, 16000000 million per season. And maybe there is a team out there. I just don't think that it's going to happen. So, also, who else remembers when Josh ripped apart McDaniels after the Raiders' Week 16 loss to the Pittsburgh Steelers? That game ended in a 13-10 loss. I mean... This, to me, is right when I first started to notice, okay, Jacobs is definitely a little bit upset about this situation, and he's not afraid, not afraid to say exactly what's on his mind. So this is, again, after the loss to the Steelers this past season. We still had opportunities to make plays. I feel like in times where we was close and we felt like we was about to get a big one, we went away from it. You know, and the past game was working early. So you know that it is what it is, but to win these games, yeah, especially in the stretch, especially when you're up against a team like this in the cold, you've got to run the ball. So that's a factor on everybody involved, top to bottom. Leading up to this game, the Raiders were running the football very effectively, and when they won a lot of their games last season, it was on the back of Josh Jacobs. But like, let's just be real, when you look at the context of that quote, and then when you actually see the way that the game went, for those of you that remember how that one went, it was a direct shot at Josh McDaniels. I'm not going to tiptoe around it. Josh can tiptoe around it. But, like, let's be clear. That was a clear shot at Josh McDaniels by Josh Jacobs. And when you're a star player, I want guys to be able to voice their displeasures. Also, though, okay, I think it's a time here for McDaniels and Ziegler to look themselves in the mirror as grown men because it is okay to make mistakes. But one of the biggest reasons why I was so worried about McDaniels is because he's never been somebody that can admit that he is wrong. And for me, it is time to look yourself in the mirror and wonder if what you're doing is actually working. When Josh Jacobs and Devontae Adams don't agree with the direction of the franchise, that should worry Raider Nation. It should worry Ziegler. It should worry McDaniels that two of your top players don't exactly love what's happening here. So we've already talked about the Jacobs displeasures. Who remembers Devontae Adams when the Raiders went out and they got Jimmy Garoppolo? The front office think this is the best bet for us right now to put us in a position to be urgent. We don't see eye to eye on what we think is best for us right now. It all depends on the style of ball that we play. If we play a certain brand of ball, I can get Garoppolo to conform to whatever. But if we use some a certain type of way, then it's going to make it tough for us to maximize who we should be this year. When I see that final part there from what Adams is saying is, but if we use them in a certain type of way, then it's going to make it tough for us to maximize. Like, that tells me that he's thinking about last year. He's thinking about his buddy Derek Carr and that McDaniels didn't maximize the talent that they have. One of the most common things that I have said and why McDaniels struggles and why it frustrates me is good head coaches build around the talent they have. Good head coaches have done a good job. Like Nick Sirianni of the Eagles has done a phenomenal job with Jalen Hurts building that offense around him, building that offense that Sirianni runs around the talent that they have. The problem with McDaniels is he's got, let's say, a square peg, and he's trying to drive a triangle or a circle into it. Instead of taking the talent that he has and building around that talent, he only does what he knows how to do and just tries to force everything in. Sometimes that can be very frustrating, which, as we can see, Jacob's a little bit frustrated. Devontae has also expressed his frustrations. So how about this? What's your confidence level in Josh McDaniels and Dave Ziegler? I want you to scale it from me 
from 1 to 10, 1 being you're not confident at all, 10, you are 100% confident in this team. For me, I have the utmost confidence in Ziegler. I've talked to a lot of people in the league that say that Ziegler is one of the best GMs, and I think a lot of the contracts that he has constructed show that. And he is a smart football mind. On the other hand, though, I don't believe in McDaniels. And until this team starts winning football games, it's going to be hard for me to believe in that. So we'll take an 8 from Ziegler. We'll take a 2 from McDaniels. We'll smush it together. That's going to give you a 5 average. Before I wrap up today's show and before I share the conclusion of today's Raiders report, guess what? Got some new subs. So shout out to Simple, Young, Zach, Rich, and Jay. I appreciate you for joining the Raiders Report family. We got to get more people here, though. Go tell some Raider fans to subscribe. So in conclusion, Josh Jacobs knows his value for this team and wants to be paid like a hero. He saw what the Raiders did in free agency. He saw what the Raiders have done in the draft, and he sent back saying, I flat out told him, if you want me to be the hero, you got to pay me like the hero. So he's not 100% confident in some of the moves that this team made. Cool. Now McDaniels and Ziegler have to be like, well, he literally told us about the franchise tag, and we didn't do exactly what he wants, so it is our turn to now look at the market. When you look at the highest paid running backs per year, he is tied for seventh right now at 10.1 with Barkley Pollard on the franchise tag. But the number that he's probably looking at is the Alvin Kamara, Christian McCaffrey type of deal. And he was previously looking at Dalvin Cook, who was making somewhere in that $12.8 million before he was just recently released. So the contract extension projection that I would offer Josh Jacobs, and it continues to be this. I'm giving him $8 million in year one. I'm giving him fifteen point two in year two. I am doubling his guarantee. The franchise tag is ten point one guaranteed. Let's double that with 22.2 for two seasons to lock them in. If the Raiders want to win football games, you do need Josh Jacobs. If you're not really all that concerned about it, then Josh isn't that big of a concern. But for Jimmy Garoppolo to be your quarterback, you need him. And then if you want to have Garoppolo back next year or you want to hand the keys to Aiden O'Connell or if you want to go out and get another young rookie QB, I would like to have Jacobs back there to help them make the process a little bit simpler. And then, if you want to move on from him, no guarantees in 2025 at age 28, then you can do it. That's the deal. So, Josh, it's three years, $38.4 million, with $22.2 million guaranteed. If that's the deal, let's do it right now. Let's sign the dotted line. If you're still saying no, tough luck, you want more? I'm saying that's unfortunate. This is a take it or leave it type of deal. Either you're playing on the franchise tag at 10.1 or you're going to take the deal I offered. If both of those aren't good, I'm sorry. You don't want to be a Raider bad enough.